Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. We're going vlog mode here. I'm hiding from my kids right now. They're taking a nap and I'm editing this video. And I just wanted to say welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by here. If you're going on vacation, congratulations. I know it's a little bit difficult to get out sometimes and it can be very frustrating, but good for you. You're getting out, you're going on vacation. And I hope this video, I hope you find this video very helpful. I hope that it motivates you and helps you better know how to clean before you leave. I'm just showing you how I would clean before vacation. I am actually not going on vacation, but I thought it was a good time to put a video like this out. Stop before you think this is just another one of those cleaning videos. I encourage you just to watch it all the way through. I really feel like there's some tips in here that you might not have heard of before and so Maybe just watch it and see, and if not, then no biggie. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I do motherhood, toddler, and lifestyle videos every Sunday and Wednesday. Thank you guys so much. So first we're gonna start in the kitchen in the most obvious place in the whole house, and that is the fridge. This is my real life fridge with lots of almost empty condiments, gross bags and containers of leftovers. There's a few drinks, lots of dairy and fruit and vegetables, some mystery jars in there. I'm going to be cleaning these out, turning my fridge all the way up so that nothing spoils that I actually do leave in here. And then checking for those things that I could pull out that will not be good by the time I get back from wherever I am going. This includes things that don't have dates, that have been in there too long, or that will not be good, or will be dried out, or just gross by the time I get back, and also empty containers. First, I will try and use up the leftovers, but if they are not usable, then I will throw them away. I'll make sure to clean up any messes or spills that have happened since the last time that I cleaned the fridge out. If I have milk or dairy products in my fridge, I try and either use them or make sure that they are still going to be good by the time I get back. There's a whole list of items that you can actually stick in your freezer, butter, bacon, sour cream, cottage cheese, things like that. You can actually stick in your freezer and they will be good when you get back. I also like to stick the butter that I have sitting out on the counter in my butter dish into the fridge so that it does not spoil or get things on it. Next, I like to make sure that my table and chairs are extremely deep cleaned. That way there is no food or gross things sitting and attracting bugs or anything while I'm gone. This includes the kids' high chair. I will check dates on bread and try to use them if I can. Also on any fruit that is not in the fridge already. I'll be sure to be doing my dishes so that nothing sits out and gets super gross while I'm gone and nothing collects dust either sitting out to dry on the counter. I'll put everything away. I will make sure that all of my dish rags and dish towels are not sitting and mildewing that they are washed, dried, and put away. And the same with the coffee maker. I will make sure to take the filter out, empty it, and even leave it open so that it can thoroughly dry while I'm gone and it's not in use. This leads us to the trash. After you have thrown things away and you're sure that nothing else will go into the trash to sit and get gross, take out the trash and put a fresh bag in. This goes for all trash in the house. Then you can move on to the bedrooms. Tidy up, clean up, make sure that the laundry hamper, diaper pail, and trash cans are all clear and free. That way nothing sits and gets gross while you're gone and you don't come back to a smelly mess. Never leave a humidifier or an air purifying system going while you are gone. Make sure it is empty and unplugged. I like to use the water in mine for watering my plants. I just have two that I've been able to keep alive and watering them with the dirty water does not hurt them at all. Just make sure there's nothing in the water that might actually hurt them. I make sure to sweep my floors. I don't always mop, but if there are any spots that I think I would not remember where they are or that would get gross while I'm gone, I make sure to clean those up. Or if it needs a full mopping, I will do that as well, but most of the time I just sweep and vacuum my welcome mat off. 
then I move on to any other rooms that need it and I make sure to put my laundry away, vacuum, tidy up, make the bed. I don't do dusting or blinds or anything like that. I feel like that's too much of a deep clean, but I do tidy up and make sure it's a clean space to come home to. Those vacuum lines are amazing. Step into your house and see that. It just makes a huge difference. It makes it feel so much cleaner. I try and make sure that I get all my laundry done and put away before I start packing. That way I don't go to pack and realize that things are dirty or missing and I can pack exactly what I want to wear while I'm gone. I try and include all of the towels in this laundry I do before I pack. That way there are no wet ones sitting there to mildew while I'm gone. It's also a good time to air dry anything that needs to have air dried and while you're cleaning is a good time to go around unplugging anything that needs to be unplugged. While I'm cleaning before I leave, I leave the windows open, but before I leave, I close them, lock them, drop the blinds, close the blinds, and I actually like to turn my blinds the opposite direction as most people because I feel like if someone was going to come and peer into my house, they could see down into my house, but if the blinds are turned up, they couldn't. Maybe that's just me being paranoid. I make sure all my fans and lights are turned off. Thank you guys so much for watching. If I have missed anything that you do specifically before you leave your house for vacation, let me know in the comments down below and I would love to hear from you guys. You could definitely do a deeper clean than what I have shown in this video and I have to admit that I normally do a deeper clean than this. I just was hitting the, the high spots and showing you the main things that I would focus on while cleaning before vacation because right now it's really hard to clean as it is and so if you can't get a full deep clean done just try and focus on these few main things and if I miss anything let me know.